All right, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how I made this McLaren spec commercial inspired by their McLaren's launch video. Introduce you to the production pipeline of how full CG car commercial can be created in Unreal Engine. I will show you my techniques and guide you through the whole production process, showing you how one person can follow company workflow and deliver the final result from gathering the references to finishing and color grading in DaVinci Resolve. But let me explain in the first place why I picked this particular commercial. When I saw that, I immediately thought, I can do this. It was obvious it is done completely in CGI. Also, I noticed some artifacts that are typical for past racing in Unreal Engine, like noise and motion blur. So I suggested the animation scene was done in Unreal. Anyway, it's stunning in CGI short film, which I recreated and posted to my channel a couple days ago. You can watch it here or by following the link in the description. Let's get started to the production pipeline. First, let's set the limitations. Obviously, it will take a lot of time if I try to do full 1 minute video and I need to cut some corners here. And I do it in a cheap way. So I will stick with something about 30 seconds as for example my Bronco video took about a month to make as there are multiple locations and animations. Also, I don't have the detailed model of the car with the drivetrain and the interior. So I will try avoid shots where the car is assembled with body parts floating nearby and showing the engine and other inside parts. My 3D model skills are not that good to create something like that. I will create three locations like in the video and pick shots that I like the most and will copycat them, as it is easier than creating cameras and picking angles by yourself. For that case I would need DOP who is experienced in car commercials. I also don't have sound designer so probably I will be using sounds from original video and will add some sound effects which I will download from artlist.io which I use for all of my videos and commercially. And you can get two additional months for free of using Artlist by following the link in the description. Thank you Artlist for sponsoring this video. And as limitations are set, let's get started. First step is gathering references. I watched the commercial multiple times to better understand how locations are set. There are three main locations which are minimal showroom made of stone, highway and some sort of laboratory or engineering facility. For making a mood board I use Pure Ref app. There I have separated locations and edit shots from the video to better understand geometry and position. When I'm done, I have about 6 to 10 stills from each location and will start assembling them. Let's move on on the car model. I will be using McLaren P1 as I mentioned before, which I downloaded for free from the Sketchfab. There are some really good McLaren 720S or 765 models out there, but well, right now I'm not making enough money from YouTube to spend them for the model for the sake of the tutorial, so I'll stick with this free model right now. I have adjusted model in Blender for my needs, like separating spoiler from the body for animation purposes. After that I started shading and fixing some materials of my P1. I mostly rely on free automotive material pack to shade cars in Unreal Engine, as it has good quality materials. Unfortunately, sometimes it's not enough, so I use textures from the models I've downloaded to create materials, and they require some fine tuning. After I'm done with the shading in Unreal, I can create a car rig. As usual, you can watch my tutorial about the car rigging by the link of the description or clicking here. Next step is recreating locations. I prefer to split them by different levels. Creating minimal showroom was relatively easy, as there you are in control of what you are showing to the viewer and you shouldn't care what is behind the camera. So I just copied the shots from my mood board and placed car approximately in the same position and created cameras. As in the original video, there are no complex light setup, I use just direction light, skylight and some fog. Next level is the lab facility, which is more complex to create in terms of lighting and asset preparation. I tried my best to achieve the same result. I used some assets from the Unreal Engine marketplace, which I already owned or which I purchased when they were free for months. Light setup was not easy, so I spent the most time setting up the lights to make the car look really gorgeous.
Last location is the highway, which leads to some sort of city, where the car passes under the bridge. In our original video, it's not very rich with details, so I decided to keep it the same way. I created road with the procedural road generator plugin, which I've bought some time ago. Added a bridge by downloading some free assets from the Sketchfab or CG Trader. Link is in the description below. For lighting, I use the default setup with the direction light, skylight, and some fog. For the background, I use the buildings from the City Sample. You can also download them for free in the Unreal Engine Marketplace, which is called City Sample Buildings. For mountains, I use the Photoreal Backgrounds, which is also a free asset available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. To be honest here, I went real freestyle, as it doesn't matter how detailed is the background, as we are mostly focusing the viewer's attention on the car. After I finished with the location, it's time to add the MetaHuman as the driver. I have created one for this purpose and called him, well, driver. In order to add MetaHuman, you need to download MetaHuman plugin from Unreal Engine Marketplace and enable it in your project. I will put him in the car later on animation stage. By the way, talking about the car animation in this scene, it's really not complex. It just drives on the straight line, no turns, braking or acceleration, only camera angles are changed. So to keep it as easy as in the original video, I place my car rig and make it drive straight on the full blast. Check speed and time to be sure it looks realistic. After that, I add MetaHuman to the car, attach him to the body and pose him in the proper sitting position. We are done with the locations, we are done with the MetaHuman, the light setup and all the environments. Now is the hardest part, creating the fascinating camera movements. There are some pretty complex camera moves and that requires sometimes attaching camera to the car as otherwise car will be in motion blur and we don't want that. After I finished with about 10 shots from the highway scene, I will proceed with the showroom and lab shots. The camera here is pretty static, so it's not that hard to operate. Set up light the way you like, adjust time of the day, and you're done. In total, I ended up with about 33 or 32 shots, basically 10 shots for each location. At this point, we are pretty much done with Unreal Engine and we need to set up the render. I set up render with path tracing in movie render queue with a target to render EXR file format for better color grading. Don't forget when setting up the render queue to choose proper level for each sequence so there will be no errors or empty shots when rendered. Hit render local and wait for the couple of days. Just kidding, it will take about a couple of hours with my RTX 4090. Well, actually I lied, it took 16 hours. I didn't sleep the night. Anyway, let's get to the final stage, editing and color grading. First, I will color grade the shots, because some of them are going to be repeated and it's easier to color grade before it is cut in a lot of tiny shots. When I finished color grading, I felt completely exhausted, because it took me about two weeks to finish this commercial as I have 9 to 5 job and I was doing it mostly after my main work or over the weekends. So I decided to ask the guys I often work with to edit this and I basically paid them for this edit. This edit included sound design and video transitions. And this is the final result which you can also see on my channel. In the end I want to remind you that my video is an overview of the process of the production companies and not in-depth tutorial. I would like you to learn how to optimize your workflow and be more efficient, proving that one person can deliver high quality results. In total it took me about 5 man days for finishing this 30 second full CG spec commercial, without any edits or inputs from the client, as here I am the client myself. But my commercial is just a copycat. I didn't do any creative job, I didn't hire the set designer, I didn't hire the concept artist or some kind of the people who should be involved in creating like standalone product. I copied the locations, copied the animations and camera movements, just achieved a good quality render. But if you'd like to go on the commercial and create it from the scratch, you would need more people and you would need more time for that because you will be included in the DOP and the other professions which you would need to create something unique and unique product.
Now we can imagine what a single artist can achieve compared to the full production studio which made the original commercial. That required much more people involved. Hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more Unreal stuff. Alright, I'm recording this part already after I finished my breakdown and posted my video to Instagram. Actually, something interesting happened. When I posted this video to Instagram, the director, Alistair Clark, saw that and he wrote to my DM and said like, well, this is a really good job and complimented me on what I made. And also he happened to be my subscriber, which is like really interesting. And he learned something from my rigging tutorials, which is absolutely great and I'm fascinated. Also, he has to mention other great artists which took part in this 750S commercial, which is the Kaiser and Lukas Kendrina. So those guys also helped to make the original 750S commercial. And this is actually crazy. I didn't expect this kind of exposure, but that's a really amazing thing to happen. And I'm really glad to share that with you. And this is actually a great way to get into the industry. When you produce the high quality product, you will certainly get noticed by the people who are working in this industry and they might even invite you for collaboration. This is what I wanted to share with you. Thank you and see you on the next one.